Hi there. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jocelyn Donovan. I'm the CPNP for Niwasa Kandaswan Tag. And today in Baby Sensory, we're going to do some mess-free painting. <laughs> now, uh, anything mess-free is uh, gold. <laughs> uh, my favorite activities are ones that I could give my baby and then walk away from for five minutes and do something like unload the dishwasher while baby is doing something quietly. And oh, if it doesn't make a mess, that's even better. <laughs> so this is a great little activity to have in your toolkit. All you need is paper, a Ziploc bag, and paint. So uh, I do want to have a little disclaimer that uh, these paints that I'm using are from the dollar store. They do not say non-toxic. I used these ones because I knew that baby wouldn't be touching them or putting it in their mouth or anything since it's going to just be inside the bag. But uh, if you reuse them for another project, uh, I would not let baby put this in their mouth. It's dollar store paint. So by all means, you can reuse these paints for older kids if they're doing some art projects with paintbrushes, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't call this taste safe. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, folks, the first thing you're going to do is open up your bag. So I already put the paper inside the bag. All you're going to do is pull it most of the way out, not all of the way out, or it's going to be hard to put back in. And then you open up your paint. And just dab on the paint that you're going to use. You can use all of it. You can use some of it. Just use your judgment, whatever works best for you. You'll notice I picked brown and black. That is because I bought multicolored packs for everyone and I gave everyone else the more interesting colors. So you guys should have pink and blue and purple and orange. I used brown and black, but that's fine. I still made a pretty cool painting. Once you have some paint on your paper, you're gonna slip it back inside the bag. You see, that's why we only took it part of the way out instead of all the way out. If you take it all the way out, it gets a little bit trickier to put it back in with the paint on. Now try to push out the air from your bag and seal it shut. And now you get to play. So encourage baby to use their fingers to move the paint around. You can do this by showing them with your hands how it looks. You can do that by talking about the feeling as you're doing it, or gently putting their hand on top, but you never force baby to do anything. Maybe they just prefer to watch you do it, or maybe they're gonna jump right in and wanna do it right away. All babies are different and they'll all react to these kind of activities differently. My children usually react by trying to bite them. Go oh, talk to your baby about the colors you see, about the feeling of your fingers on the plastic and the paint underneath. Talk about how the paint is moving and is it making streaks or waves or lines. There's so much to talk about. There you go. I think despite my boring colors, I made a pretty cool painting by the end. So when it's all done, you can take it out of the bag and let it dry if you like, or you can leave it in the bag and let baby continue to play with it another time. It shouldn't dry out for quite a while if you keep the bag closed. How did baby like painting in the bag? <laughs> if you have tape at home and uh, baby is still laying down, you can tape the bag to the ground and they can do tummy time with that and use their hands to paint on it. And remember to keep talking to them about the colors they're seeing, the textures they're feeling, you know, how they're moving and the result of those movements. Just 
anything that you can talk to baby about with this activity is great. You know, they're learning so much right now. They're absorbing so much vocabulary and the patterns of speech that we use. So remember to keep talking to your baby about what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sensory Play with Baby, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.